I work for WestJet and I am helping these lovely gentlemen uh, get to Vancouver today. We've had some delays, but we're trying to get them out as quickly as we can. I'm just experiencing some technical difficulties at the moment, so I will use my uh, lovely and talented assistant's computer as soon as she's done, and we'll get you guys up and on your way. <laughs> End of the line. Yeah, I'm I put it all together, man. So glad I get to. Um, we got a late start heading out of Edmonton because we had to put some tires on the van. So we planned to leave around 8:30. We left around 12:30, I'd say. And then we drove and we got to Jasper. And then about 10k out of Jasper, um, Lyle noticed that the trailer lights weren't working right, and we pulled over. And then the van wouldn't start again. And so we uh, had to get towed into Jasper and the tow truck driver um, suggested that we take our van to his buddy Harry <laughs> and Harry would fix it. And uh, so the van did go to Harry and Harry was willing to fix it and he said that he could fix it that night which is fantastic because we were on a little bit of a time budget. And then we went to the Athabasca Hotel where they were uh, serving four dollar and fifty cent uh, tall boys of Pilsner which is lovely they had a bowling video game a foosball game pool table uh, some kind of table hockey thing and we also invented a really fun game uh, that is now the official shout out game it's called bottle cap dinkus okay. so bottle cap dinkus is a game that Lyle and I uh, invented in Jasper last night so in when playing bottle cap dinkus you need a bottle cap puck. The official uh, game size is a Perrier cap. This is the official bottle cap Dinkus puck. You start like this with a puck upside down. The idea is you have to flip it over without doing that. If it goes this side up, then the other person gets a point. And you play to, you switch turns, you play to five, you have to win by two points, and um, you play best of three. The sets are, th are three games. A few amendments. If there happens to be a cup on the table, if you flip it and it goes in the cup, then you gain one of your points back. You, you lose a dink, so they lose a point. Um, if you flip it and it goes off the play surface, you have to go again, because it's a disadvantage to go again. Um, if you shut out the person in the first game, if you get five in a row, like if five points in a row, in the first game, then that's it. That that person is officially the bottle cap dinkus. And uh, you have to you have to play it where it lands. You have to play where it lays. Yeah. And uh, that's basic bottle cap dinkus. We'll play a few rounds here yeah. this week. Oh, the other thing is you you do uh, rock paper scissors for who whoever loses goes first. And then uh, bright and early this morning we got up and our van was waiting for us in front of the hotel at 7 a.m. Harry dropped it off for us and we got in it and. Uh, drove here and there was some scary driving with snow and such but other than that it was okay and then we uh, arrived just uh, merely half an hour late for soundcheck which is earlier than we probably would have arrived if we had gotten here yesterday and now we're setting up we're at the rickshaw theater and uh, play a show all right here we go you can also have a it's also okay to have a little water trap on there a little water trap can uh, kind of fuck it up. Makes it a lot harder. Oh, oh foul. <laughs> this is not a very good play service. Oh! One nothing for Lyle. Oh, foul. Sometimes it's a good idea if you have a bad feeling about your flip to foul it on purpose so you get a second chance. Oh, one one. Oh. Two one Lyle. 
Yes! So there you go. That's the first of three rounds. I'm gonna just clear up this uh, water trap here. <laughs> which is an evolution of bottle cap dingus. Um, these are not the official game pieces. Uh, they aren't around right now, so th these will stand in for what is the official game piece. So in bottle cap dingus, you have to play it where it lays. Each right side up flip is a point for the other person. In double dingus, you don't play it where it lays. You can put them down anywhere you want, but you have to flip both of them at once with one hand. So you have two of them, you go like this, and there we go. So this still, the scoring is the same. This is one. If both of them flip over, that's a double dinkus, and you, you, you know, the other person gets two points, which is a total drag. So if you get a double dinkus, it just changes the game a little because if you're, you know, at, if it's like eight all, you could get a double dinkus and lose the game and be the bottle cap dinkus or the double, di double uh, dinkus in this case. If one, if you flip them and one of them fouls but the other one stays on the table, you, have, you still have to go again. So sometimes that can save your ass. If one of them flips over and the other one falls, then you're not, you don't have to give up that point. You have to go again, which is like sometimes a foul can actually be a good thing in double dinkus. Obviously, close. 